Hi Phil, welcome to Holy Habitus, and today we are looking at Holy Habits, which is a turn up for the book, isn't it? But bread and butter stuff of this video blog, how do we incorporate a new and a holy habit into our habitus, into our lifestyle, so that it sticks? It's actually quite a hard job, uh, as I'm sure you know, maybe you have something in your mind that you've been wanting to incorporate for a while, you know, I want to pray regularly, or I want to read my Bible every day, and or I want to offer hospitality once a week, and I just can't seem to make that stick. Well today, I'd like to introduce a little bit of a, a little handy tool I've come up with for helping us on that process. It's an acrostic. Uh, you can download the document for this, the brainstorm document worksheet, um, by clicking on the link below and print it off and have a have a crack at it. But the acrostic is his fire, H I S F I R E, and each letter stands for a different thing that we might want to think about. H stands for hang around role models. Who are the people that we know who are practicing this really well already? And how can we hang around with them? Not hang around bad role models, people who are going to lead us off the track, but those who are really doing this, we might be able to access their advice and about how to do it. I stands for initiate accountability. So in other words, just as we have access peer support, sometimes we need some healthy peer pressure. People who we can initiate and say, hey, could you check up with me in a week's time? I'm doing what I say I'm going to do. S stands for schedule it in. Maybe you've bought next year's diary if you're organized, and you might want to write it in in pencil on every... Wednesday of next year to remind yourself to do that practice or add a ping to your phone so that it will um, prompt you to practice that habit. F stands for fantasize about it. This is an idea of how do we fan into flame the desire for the, that new habit. Imagining ourselves practicing it, excelling at that new habit. If we don't want it, we're not going to do it. I stands for incentivize progress. How can we add a little treat that's going to just make us more likely to do that new habit? Just in the same way you give a little bone-shaped biscuit to your dog when it does the right thing and you're trying to teach it a new trick. So we need to uh, uh, help the animal part of ourselves uh, along with a new habit, a slice of cake or a nice cup of coffee or a nice environment. Something that's just going to really help us get going with that. And we can remove that incentive further down the line once we've got it, but it really helps in the, in the short run. Um, R stands for reorganize your environment. It might be that you need to just change something about your environment to help with that new habit. If you want to teach your kids to read more and watch less TV, then you move the TV to the dining room where the uncomfortable chairs are and you move the bookcase into the lounge, the nice comfy chairs. E stands for equip yourself with knowledge and know-how. It might be there's a course or a book that you could read that could just give you some extra um, resource in terms of tackling that new habit. And the whole stands for his fire. And in other words, uh, whatever we do in a human sense, um, we need to access God's fire, his Holy Spirit, if we're going to be able to make some progress and inroads into this new habit. By ourselves we can do nothing, John 5.30, but Philippians 4.13 says we can do all things through him who strengthens us. Why not have a go at that worksheet, that brainstorm this week, and see if you can't get cracking in terms of embedding that new habit into your lifestyle.